Greetings from the Jazz Cloud. I'm Richie Zellen, and I want to welcome you to the Jazz Guitar Channel. When discussing rhythms in jazz improvisation, there is a hidden yet very important two-note rhythm cell that is seldom mentioned. And in this lesson, I'm going to reveal not five, not ten, but actually 15 examples of how the jazz masters employ it in their solos. So please stick with me. Just in case you're wondering, no, I'm not talking about the Charleston cell. You know, da, ja, ja, ja. The one I'm talking about is one you hear almost every great jazz soloist frequently used to end a phrase. And by placing it at the end of a line, it is almost guaranteed to make it swing. As a matter of fact, its overly simple structure is synonymous with the definition of syncopation, which in turn is the essence of all swing rhythms. So before revealing it, let me quickly define syncopation. Syncopation occurs whenever we place an accent on an upbeat or extend a note starting on an upbeat for more than an eighth note. And this definition is accurate for slow to medium tempos. At higher tempos, we would apply the same concept, only that instead of eighth notes, to quarter notes. So if you're still wondering what this mysterious two note rhythm cell is, it's simply the use of two swing eighth notes ending on an upbeat and followed by a rest. It's what some players refer to as the C jam blues rhythm cell. It can also be referred to as the groove and high rhythm cell, but I'm gonna stick with calling it the C jam blues rhythm cell because Duke Ellington wrote it first in 1941, whereas groove and high was written by Dizzy Gillespie later in 1945. And here it is in C jam blues. One, two, three, four. And here it is in groove and high. One, two, three, four. Regardless of what level you're at, please do not underestimate the importance of this simple resource. To verify how effective it is, please listen next to 15 examples of how great jazz soloists use the C jam blues rhythm cell to end a phrase. And I want you to notice how, for the most part, the cell always ends a phrase on the third beat of the measure. Of course, occasionally it might be on the first beat, but most frequently on the third beat. And I'd like to start out with Four examples by Miles Davis, because his solos feature it extensively. And this one's from So What, from the uh, classic Kind of Blue album by Miles. One, two, three, four. See, there it is on the uh, first beat of that last measure. This next one's from Air Gin from the Bag's Groove album. One, two, three, four. And there it is on the third beat of that last measure. This next one's from Tune Up from the Blue Haze album by Miles. Hear how he repeats that on the uh, third beat twice, the first and second measure. <laughs> and this next one's from I'll Remember April, also from the Blue Haze album. One, two, three, four. There it is again on the third beat. Before we begin to listen to some examples by guitarists, if you want to hear several additional ones by Miles, I recommend you watch a lesson I did in the past titled Miles Secret Solo Sauce Revealed, where I touched upon this concept and the general use of space. 
And to proceed, the next two examples are by one of the first bebop guitarists, Barney Kessel. And this one's from Barney's album, Exploring the Scene, with uh, Shelley Mann and Ray Brown, and it's from the first cut, Little Susie. One, two, three. <laughs> There it is again on the uh, third beat. And this next one's from the same album, Exploring the Scene, and it's from Doodlin. One, two. This one has them on the first beat twice. Here's two examples by another guitarist who, like Barney, swings like there's no tomorrow, Mr. Kenny Burrell. And this one's from Groovin High off the album Laid Back. Goes like this. One, two, three. And there it is again on the third beat. <laughs> this next one's from Midnight Blue from the album with the same title, Midnight Blue, by Kenny Burrell. One, two, three, four. There it is on the first beat. And if we've featured Barney and Kenny, we definitely have to include Wes. And this one's from Satin Doll, from the West Montgomery Trio, the name of the album. A dynamic new sound. One, two, three, four. And notice that that one had them all on the uh, third beat. Next, I'd like to demonstrate an example of how Pat Martino uses this rhythm cell when playing in double time. So now, instead of using it in eighth notes, it's going to be in sixteenth notes. And this one's from Pat Martino's solo on Days of Wine and Roses from the album Exit. One, two, three, four. I hope you are enjoying these examples as there is a lot to learn from them regarding the construction of a jazz line that swings. And if that is the case and you want to study them further, I have prepared a study package that is available for download from my website. It includes the regular notation as well as tab for all these lines and also MP3s of me playing each line. And this is available for a nominal contribution from jazzguitar.richiezellen.com forward slash premium and you will find the link in the description down below. For our final two artists, I'd like to feature two of the most influential saxophonists in the history of jazz. Next, we have two examples by none other than John Coltrane. And this is off of Lacey Bird, off of the... Uh, Blue Train album by Train. One, two, three, four. And there it is on the first beat of that last measure. The next one's also off of Lazy Bird from the same album, Blue Train. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four. on the third beat of the final measure. To conclude, I'd like to play three examples by one of the main architects of the bebop language, Charlie Parker. And this one's from Bird's solo on Constellation. One, two, three, four, one. There it is again on the third beat. This next one is from Marmaduke. 
One, two, three, four. Again on the third beat. And this final one is from Passport. One, two, three, four. And there it is again on the first beat this time on that last measure. I hope this lesson was helpful and you'll start incorporating the C Jam Blues Rhythm Cell to end some of your phrases. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> As usual, I appreciate your likes and comments, and if this is your first time on the Jazz Guitar Channel and you enjoyed this lesson, please be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of my upcoming lessons. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, be safe and peace be with you.